Welcome back to another episode of Roundhouse, and in today's episode, we are going to go over another YouTuber that is miles worse than Emoji Marbles, Foxy the Fox 110, and that one SpongeBob user I covered last time. This user goes by the name of Squealy J Airhorn. So, what is a Squealy J Airhorn? You probably would want to know, since you clicked on this video, and not want to know at the same time, since the content is also equally as bad. Squealy J Airhorn is a god awful YouTuber that is infinitely worse than Emoji Marbles, and although he does one shitty one off effect videos as well, he literally puts no effort in his content, and a majority of his original creations have a kind master watermark in them. Jesus, you do know that modded versions without the watermark exist, or you know, you could use Lucky Patcher to get an infinitely better version with the existing software. At the same time, that is not why my audience is here. As usual, today, we are going to commentate on a couple of his videos today, with some portions edited out of course, because you will find out momentarily, like the baby. Let's go. You think you can bully me, Andy Rex, and Nick Cheesy you dumbass? Guess what, Kenneth? You are ne I'm not even going to finish this part of the video, because I'm already going to tell you what my thoughts are so far. For some background information, Squealy is responding to one of the trolls that was making fun of him, and does anyone want to guess how he responded? Well, I'll tell you, but it is not going to be pretty. Squealy J. Airhorn thinks that he is black, and he has every right to say the n-word, except he does not say the one that ends with the letter A instead. He proceeds to use the n-word that ends with the R, which he claims he has the right to use, but no matter what your race is, it is never right to openly say the n-word that ends with the R or even the one that ends with the letter A. Just because you are black does not give you the right to say the racial slur that offends your own race specifically. At the same time, you posting that video alone gives the haters more bait on why they should hate on you, and with valid reasons as well. The whole object of this video is to not say the n-word, because it is 100% racist to use in general. Let's continue with another video of his. The thing is, I would continue with another video of his, but most of his videos after the recent ones are all either copyright claimable reaction clips, the actual n-word, or his abandoned squealy airhorn series. Since we cannot go over a majority of his content like I promised, this will now turn into a full-on channel review, but before we get on with the review, here is Anderson from Fairly Odd Parents as today's makeshift advertisement. Give me the crown and the wand to use. So let this pixie be a fixie with the crown, a wand, and wings for Trixie. Instead, I'm going to go over a video that is criticizing him and see how well it has aged in the modern era of him existing on YouTube. The user is MLF2002 and the rent number is 23. As usual, I will be cutting some portions out as I did with the Squealy Airhorn video. Let's continue. Hello everyone. This is Mario and Luigi Fan 2002 here. And today, I'm going to make a rant. This rant will be on Squealy Airhorn, Fanboy and Chum Chum, and Making Fiends Rules of State 2003. Before I start this, if any of you guys like this easier, I'm fine with your opinion. As long as you respect mine. Anyways, let's get this started. Squarey Airhorn, Fanboy and Chum Chum, and Making Things Full to Stay 2003 has got to be one of the worst users that people have to deal with. Let me tell you some reasons why people don't like him. 1. He claims that he respects opinions. But no, he does not respect opinions at all. I 100% agree with this point because he still does not respect opinions, and either responds with mostly a copyright claimable clip, or the n-word, but if ever really, his real voice. 2. He lied about his age. I usually don't agree with people that I'm ranting on, but that one aged pretty poorly, because Squealy Airhorn actually looks pretty reasonable for his age for someone born in 2003. 3. He can't handle criticism. 
That is a plain bona fide fact, because even to this present day, he still cannot deal with criticism, and that is an integral part of being a YouTuber. The specific reasons why are a majority of his, in quotation marks keep in mind, reaction clips with copyrighted material and the ones where the n-word is used, like I mentioned before. 4. He revealed his location. Revealing location on the internet is dangerous because people now know where he lives. That is a very good point, because on the internet, you should never reveal your location, and if you do, people who you may not know about could put you, as well as your whole family in danger. 5. He kept making user videos out of users he hates. That is cyberbullying, which he can get a committee guideline strikes for that. I 100% agree with this point, because even to this present day, Squealy still makes user videos out of people that he hates, instead of, you know, either make a commentary out of said user like Emoji Marbles or any other commentator would, or just ignore the trolls as usual. Do I agree that he should get a community guideline strike for making said videos? Since it is mostly repetitive, that depends on the user and whether they want to give the strike or not. But yes, I agree that he should be striked for making repetitive user videos related content, since spamming the same content for more views is against the rules of YouTube itself. 6. He threatened some users to kill them with a knife. Seriously, you cannot threaten a user on the internet. You can get arrested for that. Are you fucking serious? He threatened users with a knife. This has got to be one of the lowest bullshit that I have ever heard so far. And if any one of his former fans can back this point up to determine whether it is true, then that would be greatly appreciated and fucked up at the same time. 7. He claims that anyone who dislikes him has invalid reasons to hate him. In fact. They had reasons to hate him. In my own defense, the haters of Squealy Airhorn have pretty solid reasons on why you should not like this user, and that is pretty solid to me. I wonder if this person who ranted on him is gonna go over the fact that he is racist or not, but we will see. 8. He bullied Gaming God 421 just because he thinks that Gaming God 421 bullies people. In fact, that user gives some users criticism. Bullying and criticism are different. Are you fucking kidding me? He bullied some other content creator just because that person gave genuine criticism? This further proves the point that Squealy Airhorn cannot deal with any ounce of criticism whatsoever, and even to this present day, he still cannot, which further proves this person's claim. 9. He made a commentary on Cohen Fan 31's review video on him, which is one of the worst commentaries ever, because he insulted Cohen Fan 31 with swear words at him. So he does mention that he used swear words in a commentary against him. My bet is probably genuine swears, as well as a couple of N words slapped in there as well. Also, you cannot end criticism with using swear words. You genuinely have to go over the points on why they are wrong, or nobody will take you seriously. At the same time, how in the hell does this user have over 8,000 subscribers for content that takes literally no effort to do? 10. Most of his videos are cringe. He kept targeting Spongebob 336 Timmy 909 and Spongebob 336 Mario 909. Most of his videos are indeed cringe, because anyone with an IQ above Peter Griffin's, which is 70, can do it as well, since it literally takes no effort at all. 11. He was well known to show his private parts during a live stream. What the heck did he even do that in the first place? He should have known that it can get taken down without warning. I don't even have to literally go in depth about this part, because this part is 100% true, and even worse, that is when he was a lot younger as well. 
you do know that YouTube does not allow not safe for work content period because it is against the community guidelines to do so, yet I see that same shit because YouTube also does not do anything to stop it either. And 12. His sequel videos are pretty bad because people just make parody videos out of him and he decided to make sequel videos about it, which he would just ignore them. And that's all I have to say. In conclusion, Squealy Airhorn is a racist and horrible YouTuber that you should not look forward to content because he literally puts no effort in his content whatsoever. Watching anyone else would be infinitely better than watching his content. I'm out. See you guys later.